Hey guys, Dr. McFarland here, and in a recent episode of that pedal show, they demonstrated how to get a deluxe sound fully cranked, and then get a clean sound using a pedal in front of the amp. So let's demonstrate how to do that on the Headrush Core. Okay, so first thing we want to do is add an amplifier. So click on Amp, Headrush. We'll scroll down until we get the Black Lux Vibe, which is what the Fender Deluxe is. Then we'll go ahead and add a cab. We'll do the 1x12 black panel Lux. So for this one, I'm gonna put a Dime 57, which is what a SM57 is. We'll keep it on axis. And then all we have to do at this point is just literally crank the amp all the way up. Now I will check my output. You can see that it's not getting above zero because a cranked Fender amplifier has plenty of compression and it naturally knocks off the transients. So even though you add more gain, it's not gonna get much more louder once you get past maybe, you know, five or six on the dial. So very cool amp, but this is the sound we have. So nice and cranked. We can experiment with turning down the bass, which is going to take out some of the flub that Fender amps have when you crank them. Okay, that works for me. You can take it all the way down, but just experiment with the amount of bass for your particular needs. And now before the amp, we want to bring in a pedal of some sort. So let's go to overdrive. Let's actually try out the new Glorious drive and see if this does anything for us. So we're gonna bring the drive pretty much all the way down. And then we can also adjust the level down as well. So let's see how this changes the sound of the amp. Okay, so at this point, Turning down the volume on a pedal before an amplifier is very similar to turning down the volume on your guitar, and you're basically just reducing the amount of signal going into the front end of the amp, and therefore you're not having as much gain. So what we can do now is bypass the pedal, and now we're back to the full bore of gain that we had before. <laughs> Turn the pedal back on. Okay, still a little bit of break up in there because I am on the bridge pickup. Let's go to my neck pickup. Okay. Let's also add an EQ after the amplifier. And what this is going to do is essentially give us the ability to add more gain or a secondary volume slider after the amp. So even though we're reducing the volume before the amp, we're gonna bring back up the volume after the amp to compensate for the loss of volume here. And then especially if I tap the coil on my neck pickup, I'm gonna get really clean. I can even do it on the bridge pickup. So lots of different flavors and nuances you can get with a cranked amp just by reducing the volume to the front end. Okay, let's check our output. See, I'm not, Anywhere close to that zero mark. So let's bring up the volume all the way. Let's go up 6 dB. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what we can do is actually go into our hardware assign. And let's say we want to make this a scene. So for scene one, my glorious drive is gonna be on, and my 10 band EQ is gonna be on. And then for the second state of this scene, I'm gonna have the glorious drive off and the 10 frequency band off. And we'll go ahead and rename this. 
We'll call it amp channel because it's kind of like we're changing the channel of an amp even though we're not. So we're going back and then hitting this one switch right here. You can see turning it on and off will change the state of the pedals. Okay, let's actually change the colors of these so I can actually tell what's going on. So usually for my clean, I want it to be blue. And then for my dirty, I want it to be red. Okay, so blue is my clean sound. And then red is my overdrive. So this is just a very basic setup and you can go full bore with this, adding other reverb and delay, other overdrives, other modulation pedals, whatever you want. But the basic premise is take an amp with no master volume, crank it, and then reduce the volume with either a pedal or another EQ pedal. So that way it's like you're turning down the volume on your guitar, but you're actually doing it at the pedal stage, not at the guitar stage. So you can literally apply this concept to any other modeler out there, not just the head rush. So if you have a Tomaster Pro, a Fractal, a Kemper, a Quad Cortex, or even a Helix, then you can apply this concept to all of them and get a similar sound with the Deluxe or any other non-master amplifier. If you want more videos on the Headrush Core, be sure to subscribe down below. And I do have a Headrush bundle on my website that goes through every single amp, cab, microphone, and effect, so you can fully understand your Headrush unit and dive in deeper into the world of sweet tones. So once again, I'm Dr. McFarland. I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking.